My name is Jim Hogue. I work in the biology department here at Cal State Northridge. Uh, I'm a full-time staff member as the manager of the biological collections. And this semester, I'm teaching a new course for me. It's entomology. I'm co-teaching that with Dr. Randy Cohen. Within the, the field of biology, uh, insects are certainly the dominant multicellular life forms on Earth. It's really in an insect world. I mean, there are literally millions of species of insects. They do almost everything that you could think of. Uh, they're the greatest converters of plant biomass to animal biomass. And so I guess to be an educated citizen in, in the United States in 2012, you should know something about insects. <laughs> We're really focusing more on the more practical aspects of the study of insects. So their classification, their identification, some aspects of their natural history, uh, interesting stories about them. But a lot of it is how to recognize them because once you can recognize them and put names on them, then you can access all sorts of other information that's available through the literature. The big thing, though, is to get the students out into the field. So part of our class is to get students outside, uh, out of the classroom, and do hands-on stuff, capturing insects and other terrestrial arthropods, uh, looking at them up close, seeing them in their natural environments. And to do this sort of things, we use kind of simple tools such as jars and nets and traps and those sorts of things. One of the important parts of the class is making an, an insect collection and their goal is to collect and properly curate and label 60 families of insects and hopefully reach the goal of getting 25 different orders. So if you did that and you did it very well, you get a very high score on your insect collection. How large is CSUN's insect collection? My estimate is it's probably getting close to 100,000 specimens. Uh, probably about 40,000 of those are pin specimens and the rest of them are things that are stored in alcohol. Uh, a great deal of those specimens were contributed by students, but I've contributed lots of specimens, other faculty member here, people from the public, uh, some interesting things I purchased, so they come from all over the place. Uh, there's often students that come into the class and they don't even want to touch them because <laughs> lots of people just have kind of an innate or a learned fear of small things that crawl around. So one of the things I want some of them to get out of that is, is once they are not ignorant of insects anymore, then they won't be afraid of them and they'll appreciate them more as just another piece of the, the world out there. The other organisms that we share the planet with, I want them to appreciate those things. And the best way to do that is to learn something about them. I'm more than happy to look at things that people bring in, be you students, faculty, staff, or people from the local community. If you have something that you've seen on a trip and you've taken a picture of it, or something you found in your house or your backyard, that's one of the things that I do as part of my job. And it's one of the things I really enjoy because they're little mysteries. Most of them are things that I've seen before and it's very easy for me to recognize and tell you what it is, but now you know something new, but once in a while somebody has something that's kind of tough to figure out. And that's a challenge for me that I enjoy and uh, I'll do my best to figure out what it is. And then once again, once you have the organism's name, now you can go off and search the literature and learn everything that people have learned about that. Um, and we could get information here or you could find it on your own. Uh, my name is Jim Hogue. I'm the manager of biological collections and a part-time lecturer here in the Department of Biology at Cal State Northridge. And we're uh, talking about uh, entomology class.